Hi, this is Steve Wiedemann. Today we're going to talk about how to identify if your website has 404 errors pointing to it. And why this is a problem is if you have a page that's showing up in Google search results because Google navigated from a link um, and catalog the, the URL in that link pointing to your website, if they've indexed that page and somebody clicks on it within search results, it provides a poor user experience. And Google and other search engines want to make sure that their users are having a great experience. So we don't really want four or four errors when they can be avoided. In most cases, if a page has to go away, ideally you'd want to move that, the page that went away to maybe the home page of your website. Or if the page has been moved or upgraded to a different page, you'd want to redirect that page to the, the best corresponding uh, result for what the user might have searched Google for. So in this case, we're just going to look at uh, potential 404 issues. So Let's go to our Webmaster Tools, and you're going to navigate to Crawl and Crawl Errors. So in Crawl Errors, you can see a lot of new information that Google didn't use to give you. So one, you can see if there's server errors. Server errors um, are errors that happen because of something going on within your website. And that is, you know, the server timed out or there was a particular issue. Um, not found means that there was an actual link either in your website or from an external website pointing into your site. And so here is where you would identify where there's problems and work with your webmaster to resolve them. In an ideal scenario, you want to have zero not founds if you can do it. Sometimes you really can't control how other websites link to you. And they might accidentally add a trailing slash at the end of a URL. Or they might just do something really funky uh, with a misspell or capitalization. And if it's a good link for you, and you look back at the source and you say, hey, this is a really good link. Um, you might just let them know, hey, you, you accidentally mistyped the URL. Really appreciate you linking to me. I think it's amazing what you know, you're doing for me. Um, but could you please correct it? Um, most of the time, it's not a problem for them. If it's a link that's not really that valuable to you and you know, it's, it's just sort of an anomaly, um, I wouldn't worry about it as much. Most of your profile is going to be clean and you're not going to be penalized because some random website that's not really giving you much traffic or, or value or wouldn't in the future, um, I, I wouldn't worry about them so much. So now they've also included smartphone, which is pretty cool. So now you can actually see somebody who's on a smartphone, depending on, on how you have your uh, viewpoints and uh, media queries set up uh, to display to mobile users, you can actually see where there's potential issues, both on the server side, as well as not found, or a blocked URL that you might have on your website. So a really great way to immediately see that. Now feature phone gets a little bit more into you know, tablets and uh, other devices that you might be using as a phone, uh, but that's not necessarily something that Google has in their list of recognized smartphones. So we'll call that a feature phone. So um, there's a quick way, again, to look in your webmaster tools to identify any 404 errors. Now, uh, there are other tools, external tools, that you can use. One of my favorite is a tool called Xenu Link Sleuth. You can just Google Xenu, X-E-N-U, and Link Sleuth. It's a free tool and allows you to crawl your own website to look for errors. Let's use my top 10 SEO tips website, top10seotips.com, to see if my site has any specific internal uh, links that are causing problems. Because you could be penalized just as much for how you're linking um, as other people are linking to you. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And you know, yeah, what the heck, let's check external links. Click OK and then let it run. Since there's only five pages on my website, this shouldn't take very long at all. So far, it's found 238 URLs, and it asks if you want a report. So I'll go ahead and click on Yes. And you know what? I don't need to use you know, load this anywhere. So I'm going to click Cancel, and you'll see the report in your web browser. So here we can look at broken links. And it looks like there's only one. There's one link pointing to Google.com Website Optimizer. So there's a link that I could fix on my website. Uh, where it's pointing to, uh, to a, a page that doesn't exist anymore. Really simple, easy way to get a list of broken links on your site. And it looks like some of the other links I have um, pointing to Webmaster Tools are broken as well. Or, or those pages redirect, which is fine. And just a nice little report you can give to your webmaster. It also gives you a nice list of valid URLs that you could submit um, to Google or any other search engine. And then a HTML sitemap that you could um, easily just right click. And if you're in Chrome, click Inspect Element. 
and you can get the HTML and copy and paste it right into an HTML page and create a cool little HTML sitemap on your website to allow search engines to better crawl your site. And that is it. So Xenu Link Sleuth is a great tool. Uh, another popular tool people like to use um, that uh, works really well for larger sites is a tool called Screaming Frog. So you can, um, um, you can definitely download that one. It's a, it's a great tool to look at broken links. Uh, another tool that we've been using recently is called Sightliner. And Sightliner.com allows you www.top10seotips.com to crawl your website and look for a lot of other um, uh, potential issues. So I'm going to go ahead and let this guy run. And you can see, uh, when it comes up here, a couple different things, including broken links. So it's finished. And on the left-hand side, you can see a site summary. You can see if there's duplicate content problems. That is, those pages on your website that are very similar in nature. You can see broken links. Now, broken links in this tool applies to internal links. That is, links that you have pointing to other pages on your website, not necessarily external websites. Where Xenu Link Sleuth gave us a list of those links that might have moved or are gone now that we could remove from our website or update. So this, this is a really quick, easy way to check for broken links. It goes up to 500 URLs, I believe. Um, and if you want more, you can buy them for like a penny per, uh, per URL. So this, uh, again, is how you check to see if you have uh, any 404 errors. And uh, I introduced three different tools, Google Webmaster Tools, Sightliner, and Z New Link Sleuth. If you have any questions on this at all, please use the comment field below. And uh, we will see you in the next video where we'll be talking about custom 404 pages and hopefully providing a better experience to people who do hit a 404 error on your website because they accidentally mistyped a URL or who knows. Thanks for watching. This is Steve Wiedemann.